Welcome to Everything Got a Price, a show where we talk the cost. My name is Naeem Edwards and I am your host today. You're here because you saw something that intrigued you to want to start your home studio. Maybe you want to start your music career for cheap, which is a myth. There's no such thing as a cheap music career, not a successful one. Uh, you want to start a home studio, you want to start a studio in general on a budget. Now, the first thing is your room. How much is it gonna cost to treat your room? How much is it gonna cost for just the room itself? You might actually have spare space in your apartment, your house, your garage, anywhere. You just wanna make sure you have space enough for everything. The acoustics is okay. You might spend money on panels. You might spend money on blankets. You might spend money on something just to make sure it's not all spacey and airy. So panels really around you like decent panels. You you might end up spending fifty some dollars on panels just to treat the space around. I'll talk about the pop filter part in a second. Me, I like to hang up blankets, put stuff in the wall, put clothes in the room just to you know, it just depends on what kind of voice you have. And that's another thing we'll have to talk about, but that's another show, talking about your voice. Obviously, people want to know how much are microphones to record music. If, I'll give you this, gem: Picking out a microphone, you're never going to just have one mic. You know what I'm saying? Most people don't just have one mic because picking out a microphone is going to depend on what kind of voice you have. So, I have maybe four microphone because it just depends on what I'm doing. It also depends on if you're going to be an instrumentalist. It's going to depend on if you're going to have other people coming in. I would say the best microphone to start out with would be something like an Audio Technica AT 2020, which will run you 99 to $130. You know, somewhere in that range, that's one of the best microphones, like one of the best cheap microphones for starting your music career because you're going to get that good quality sound and it works usually with most voices. Now, we're not going to go into that because that's a whole separate situation. So maybe $130, like $100 to $130 for a mic. You need a pop filter, 20 bucks. You know what I'm saying? That's just to keep all that clicking and ticking and popping and whopping. You might actually get the pop filters that go over the microphone and that's where we talk about, you know, the sound panel thing, you might actually need both depending on your room. So the pop filters that go over, I use Chaotica. That's going to run you, shit, how much was the Chaotica? That might actually run you $200. You know, like you might actually be able to get it for a little bit less than $200 depending on where you go, you know, and it's like they don't sell the phone by itself no more. They used to actually, you used to could go into like a craft store, but they don't even sell the phone. I think niggas own the patent to the goddamn phone. So, you know, you might spend $200 on a Chaotica to go over top. So you don't have to worry about all the extras. It'll soundproof whatever you got going on. Plus you can have additional soundproof situations going on. You know, people don't consider that you need a mixer, some type of system when you have these high capacity microphones so a mix board the mix board i used was like when i first started out cost like 50 bucks because i knew a lot of the stuff i was going to be doing was going to be on the computer so you might spend 50 to 250 on a mix board just to plug your microphone in cables for the microphones some of the best cables is a 80 100 or some change you might be able to find some for 20 bucks but that's if you're starting depends on how hard you want to hit the ground running when you start in your music career as far as building a home studio mic stands good mic stands 30 to 80 100 you know what i'm saying like now you you keeping up because i did not take the time to sit down and do the math i'm going off when you just starting out we're we're, we're getting close to a thousand dollars coming up you know what i'm saying you're gonna need so we, we ran down those these little basic things you're gonna need speakers depending on what kind of speakers you might be able to get away with getting some speakers from walmart you might spend 50 60 dollars you might spend 20 30 dollars 
You might want to go all out. Speakers are hundreds of dollars. Two, three, four, five hundred dollars for good speakers. Computer, what are you going to be recording on if you're recording at the house? Just the computer. We haven't even gotten into the software. And if you need a subscription for your software, like fucking Pro Tools or some shit who charges you every year for the software or whatever, you can't buy it outright. Or you might use a different DAW, Digital Audio Workspace, to record your shit in. You'll have to pay for that. Your computer, you might record on Windows. You might record on a Mac. How much is our computer? Mac computers, thousand, two thousand dollars. Windows computer, she Windows computers cost a lot. Even more that you know, people try to skip around and do the shortcut thing. We talking about being in the house. You know what I'm saying? You need a desk to record on. If you do that, you might want to, depending on how much output input, you might need a laptop and a desktop computer. That's gonna cost you money. You know, depending on, you know, a desktop computer will run you $1,000. If you want a good high capacity one, you're going to need a hard drive. Hard drives, depending on how much music you plan on putting out. You know, you're going to have to, and this is just strictly hardware. We're not talking about wardrobe. We're not talking about this. Let's just say we, we, not, we, we can really, you know, if you got instruments, if you plan on playing your own instruments, I got motherfucking, you know, that's a bass guitar. That's not a cheap guitar. This is a good quality bass guitar, acoustic guitars, keyboards. You know, instruments are not cheap if you plan on doing it that way. You know, if you got a band, now you're going to need multiple of these things. You haven't even learned, you haven't even gotten into the software you're going to need just for you. Now, you can play around with the stock plugins and stuff that actually might be the best for you because you might not be able to afford it. But think about stuff like auto-tune. People love that auto-tune shit. Auto-tune, shit, as cheap as I ever seen auto-tune was maybe $6 a month. You know, auto-tune is a hundred, couple hundred dollars for the whole whatever unlimited upgrades. Isotope, the mixing and mastering suite. You know, I use Isotope because I've been using it for a while as something easy. The Azotope Suite, you might be able to catch it on sale. You might spend $1,000 just on that. Have you considered these things before starting your home studio? That's why a lot of people feel like, oh, shit, how could I forget? A good pair of headphones might run you $100. Good pair of studio quality headphones, $100. And I told you, that, like, I'm looking at my microphone. It's like right here, the one I use all the time two thousand dollar microphone you know what i'm saying like there's a wide range of things wide wide range of situations you know that's why a lot of people might feel like it's cheaper to just fucking go to the studio pay that one time and get the fuck and then that's just to record what you got you better learn how to mix and you better learn how to master because if you don't know how to mix and you don't know how to master, you're going to go have to go pay for that along with paying for everything. You know, you need internet at your house because everything is online. You're going to have to, I don't think I should go that far with talking about putting your music on platforms. Yeah, I'm not going to go that far because that's a whole, that's a whole separate situation. But now you know about the little things. You know, you're going to need little things, just little, you know, you might need a tripod for your phone. That's the part of, you know, because you want to show your work. You want to show people you're working, you know. That's just to start out to make money. That's if you can, you have the capability of doing everything yourself. This is everything's got a cost. Everything got a cost. Jesus, this is not everything got a cost. This is everything got a price. My name is... Naeem Elwes, and this is the show where we talk the cost. There we go. I've been up all fucking day. I'm tired. Leave me the fuck alone. I will holler at you.